Whoa, a computer on the Vibrant channel? That's because we're putting race car parts on it. My name's Troy, and I'm from Vibrant Performance, obviously. I'm usually behind the camera or on social media. You've probably talked to me in the DMs. I've maybe posted your car. So outside of my job, I build computers and I build cars. I have a Subaru WRX myself. It's fully built. And what I've always dealt with is super hot components and cooling is always an issue. When you build PCs, the exact same thing happens. We use really hot components and we put it into really tight spaces. The nice part about working at Vibrant is I have a huge arsenal of parts to basically cool this thing. So we have a full catalog section of just fluid delivery, AN lines, fittings, dry brake connectors, and we have oil coolers. Throughout this series, you're gonna see us putting this all together in this crazy looking case, and we're gonna show you how. We've ordered a graphics card, but it's not in yet, and we're on a bit of a time crunch. As you can see, we're going for a white theme. We have our white 750 watt power supply, 32 gigs of RAM, which will definitely be enough for this build. A one terabyte NVMe SSD, white NZXT N7 motherboard that's gonna be powered by our Ryzen 9 5900X. So this thing will be quite, quite chonky. This thing is gonna slap. So this thing's obviously gonna be a beast and it's gonna produce a ton of heat. That's why we're going with a full custom loop. We've got our N7, if I can get the box open this time, please. <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna pull that guy out. Now we're gonna pull out our Ryzen 9 5900X. This is a big, big old processor. You're gonna lift a little latch, line up the triangle, set it in there nice and, nice and easy. Slam it down, installed. <laughs> Then what we're going to take care of next, which is also super simple, is we're going to throw our RAM in there. We got 32 gigs of it, quad channel, 3600 megahertz. I feel like I'm on a cooking show or something. Put a little yeast on it, it's good to go. So we're just going to press that in there. Installed. But well, that looks really nice, if you can see that. So we're going to go with our Samsung SSD. I've never dealt with this motherboard before, so we're going to have to take off these shrouds, but it says lift here to remove. Oh, look at that. So you're gonna grab a tiny little screwdriver for these tiny M.2 screws. We all know and love. Notorious for getting lost because they are very, very, very minuscule. So this thing comes with two SSD ports. So if you ever wanna expand in the future for your games or for whatever, you got two ports. Magnetic screwdrivers help a lot, pro tip. <laughs> and that's, that's in nicely. Never to be seen again. We're cooling it with our components. We're liquid cooling it with the uh, oil cooler cores, AN lines, all that, even dry brakes on this thing. What? For what? Yeah. yeah. You're building a, com a computer yep. that's gonna be cooled using our components. Yeah. We finished putting everything on the motherboard, as you can see, Ryzen 9, our RAM, we have our SSD in, and that's pretty much what you can do outside of the motherboard before you put it inside your crazy chassis at home. So obviously I've changed shirts. It is a different day. We were missing some hardware, so I brought some from home, which I somehow just had on hand. We've got the motherboard all set up and we're gonna be putting that in the case today. I'm gonna disassemble all the panels so it you know, gives me a bit more room. It's all like CNC aluminum, which is super nice. Without all the side panels on, this thing's kind of just a rectangle on an angle. It makes it easier to lie down on its side. Sweet. Put those in there. <laughs> oh God. Oh no, it's a Molex cursed. Yes. So now we have the, the bare chassis. You can remove the back panel from this. I just figured this out now. I'm talking like I've known this the entire time, but look at that. Just a motherboard back panel. Kind of nice, honestly. <laughs> Every standoff looks like it's already set up from the case manufacturer, which is really nice. Now we have to reassemble the case. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the way it's supposed to be done, but I don't care. I know it seems sketchy, but don't worry, it isn't. There we go. Motherboard in. Strange, <laughs> but I like it. 
I think having all the panels off will make liquid cooling management a little better. I know this isn't exactly what you guys come here to see, so in the next episode, we're definitely gonna be taking these Vibrant products and putting them on this Vibrant computer. So this intercooler core, this tiny little guy, we have to add some bungs and some end tanks, but uh, I can't weld. So we're gonna get our experienced welder over there, Aaron, to put this together with some nice Vibrant weld bungs and we're gonna run some AN lines to it. To make his end tanks, he's gonna be using this square tube, which I have no idea what he's gonna do, but uh, it'll definitely be interesting, so be sure to tune in for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you. See you on the next one.